Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I wanted to quickly talk about title tags and shortening them. Um, so if from an SEO standpoint and from just a user standpoint, uh, you always want to have uh, your content, your design, everything as simple and as straightforward as, and as uh, easy to explain as possible. And um, every now and then we like to kind of go uh, through our pages and see what we can simplify or explain better and, and, and just give some more, you know, just better uh, data or better information, sorry. Um, so right now while going through one of our clients, we typed in uh, just Los Angeles Acting Workshops and our client here um, just has a title tag that we kind of wanted to, to shorten it because we thought that the word private classes we're not we're not um, a fitting for this specific page. We wanted to create another page and simplify this term to just say that we have acting workshops. So uh, I just wanted to give one tip, and the reason why I created this video is to show you one thing. So uh, let's say you want to shorten this, and it will just say Los Angeles Acting Workshops, Elizabeth Mesnick Acting Studio, without private classes. So number one, I want to check is the the first thing I want to check is can we create another page which is more relevant that would just talk about the private tutoring or the private uh, acting classes and then kind of separate the two themes between acting workshops and private classes because they are different because acting workshops are typically in, in groups um, and the private classes are private classes so uh, what I wanted to show you here is after we decided yes we want to uh, uh, simplify the the title tag and separate them into two pages I wanted to take a look at our Google Analytics data and make sure that if I'm removing this we won't have less users or it won't have some kind of impact on the user flow or on the traffic from Google Organic and stuff like that. So here's what we're going to do. So um, what we did is we actually go to Analytics, okay? And uh, right now it is the 17th of November 2013. And as you know, um, there's no real data from the regular keyword, um, you, you know, the, the organic keyword data right here under all traffics. Uh, Google just pro it does all the all of the not provided. So what we have to do is a uh, plug in Webmaster Tools and look at what Webmaster Tools has. So if you go here to acquisition, okay, and then search engine optimization and queries, you'll get to this page, right? So what we did is we went a few months back from September to November, two and a half months roughly, and uh, what we want to do is search for the term that we're actually, sorry that we're actually removing which is private classes so the word classes is, is very um, uh, how do I say just very popular so I'm just going to use the word private which doesn't really appear in our other pages um, so if I go here I'm going to go click on the advanced search query containing and I'm going to type in the word private and what we're looking here is to see how many impressions and clicks we've received in this two and a half months to see if there's a really high number uh, then maybe we should reconsider if we're going to create a sub page or how we do it or us or just if it's important. And if you notice here, private acting lessons, there's only been in the last two and a half months five impressions, which means we can remove it, average position, you know, very low. So we have no worries to remove that term and shorten and simplify the page. So um, hope that gave you some, some food for thought. And I uh, hope, you know, if you have any questions, please ask in the comment box and we'll be happy to talk about it some more. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.